Hi, I'm Bernard with She Hair by SoCap USA. Today we're going to talk about proper technique while doing the flat bond. Many stylists were never taught the proper technique to move from the round bond to the flat bond. Though the round bond still has its time and place sometimes in hair extensions, the flat bond has many advantages. One is that it fits more comfortable against the client's head, and the other is it spreads a little wider and falls a little more natural the way a client's hair would flow. Today we're going to show you how the flat bond can make your extensions look so much more incredible. And here's the tools you're going to need to use. So many people will uh, use a tail comb to part off their sections and part off each bond. I find it a little bit faster if I just use the tools that I'm going to be using on her head throughout the day. I'm just going to use the disc and the red clips after I have my sections set. So here my goal is to get a square or rectangular section about the same size as the keratin that I'm going to be placing in today. On most people, the density or the amount of hair per square inch will match up with the size, the width of this keratin matching the width of the section and the depth of the section about that same distance. I've noticed from the company from Italy, they make the bonds a little bit longer than we need here in the States. I've been doing hair extensions for 24 years. I've experimented with a lot of different shapes and sizes. Notice a lot of people cut the bonds short. So what we've done is we found a size that works best for these extensions is about half to a little bit less than half. I think the most important thing about the size of the bond being cut is that it fits in the tool well. A little bit smaller from this, from uh, top to bottom of the tool so that when we do heat the bond up, it spreads just enough that it still stays inside of the tool while being heated up. When you use the bonds large and full size as they come from the company, you're forced to heat it up multiple times and that just takes a lot of extra time and it doesn't stay in any better. If you'll notice here, I have two bonds in already. Since I'm right-handed, I'm going to work from left to right because I'm always parting on the right side. I find it easier. In our classes, I notice some stylists will try to go to the left, and each time they go to grab a section, they'll grab a few hairs from the last bond. that makes it a little more difficult. So that's just a little tip. I'm going to place this protective disc in here just to kind of hold down the little flyaways around the edges and clip it in place with a couple of red pins. So now, if you'll notice, as I've clipped this in place, the disc is not making the hair pop out. It's down just enough to let this hair fall naturally. I'm going to hold this hair in a down position as often as I can throughout the process of this bond. So my goal is to put this keratin bond halfway between the circle and the bottom of the disc. Most styles are tempted to put it too close to the head, which causes a little bit of a pop out or a waterfall. I'm going to put it about halfway and over time you'll learn how to put it just a tiny bit closer and get good results. But to start with, the best place to start would be halfway between the circle and the very bottom. I'm going to keep this hand position in a natural fall down position, come underneath, heat this bond up, let it spread from side to side, pop the tool open quickly, we'll keep it from sticking to the tool. I notice a lot of stylists as they hold this tool on the bond and open it slowly, they'll get a stringy, stringy mess. And when you pull the tool away, it'll be kind of stringy. The tool is Teflon coated so that it won't make a mess. So if you heat it up and pop it open quickly, it'll all stay in place and you're able to manipulate the bond. But if you notice during both of those heat and folds, I didn't move this hand. So the first time I went in, I heated the bond up. The bond started underneath. So I heated the bond up, let it spread from side to side. I'll do it again. Pop the tool open, fold it up and over with a thumb each time. Up and over on this side, pull it over on this side. Not moving this hand, come back in a second time, heat the bond up, let the bond spread from side to side. This time I'm going to use my finger to push the bond under. Push it under, fold it here, push it under on this side, fold it here. Always keeping the positioning the same, never letting go here. The temptation of most stylists are to switch hands and fold this side, switch hands and fold this side. And as you're switching hands, you tend to pull some hairs out of the bond, which causes some shedding later on down the line. 